The switch chair. The chair that folds into a table. Designed by David, Tazrin, and Braden. In many countries, having adequate space for living has become a limited resource. This is mainly due to the populations increasing every year. And having the proper amount of space has now become a luxury that only the wealthy can afford. And to make matters worse, not only are people running out of room for privacy within their very homes, the cost of furniture is increasing every year, making it much harder for low to middle income families to afford the necessities needed to live comfortably. In Canada, we are blessed with being the second largest country and having a national population less than the state of California. These factors make space our least priority. Because of that, we are able to provide families like these with low income housing that is a size which people in overcrowded cities dream of. Now we're moving on to space scarcity. Here is a table showing the population density per square kilometer of the 10 highest populated countries in the world, as well as in comparison to Canada. Of the 736 million people living in extreme poverty in the world, half of them live in five countries, which are some of the heaviest populated countries. And here is a table showing the highest income versus the lower to middle income population within those countries. Our design is intended for people with a limited amount of space, as well as families with low to middle income who may not be able to afford multiple pieces of furniture. As well, another group that would really appreciate such a minimalistic design are minimalists. These people live with one goal and that is to live with as little things as possible. Our objective of this project can be divided into three sections. Make, provide, and give. First is make a piece of furniture that can convert into a table from a chair. Our second is to provide the essentials needed for these people without compromising their limited space, as well as provide them an affordable furniture item, as well as we want to give them something that makes their place feel more like home. For our design, we decided to go with a table that slides out and then folds up and two latches fold down and attach to the bottom. The components of this design consist of the front legs, which double as both front legs for the table and chair, the back legs, which have slots so the table has a chance to fold down, the latches for safety mechanisms so the chair does not fold on you, the back legs and the support so the legs do not give out when weight is applied. And to top it all off, we have the seat and backrest, which have hollow slots so we have no extrusions and the whole design is made completely out of yellow pine and varnished to perfection. Hi, I'm Brayden. I'm here to talk to you today about some factors we had to address when designing our ramp. The first of these factors was that of sustainability. We addressed sustainability by using pine wood to make our ramp. Pine wood was ideal for this in many ways. The first of these ways was its high growth rate which allows pine wood to grow back very quickly once it's replanted. The second of these was its high reproduction rate, which allows a lot of pine trees to grow. These two factors together means that a whole forest of pine, after being logged, can be ready to be relogged in a very short amount of time. The last of the factors for pine was that it's not an endangered species, which means there's no ethical concern with chopping it down, and there's no chance we'll destroy the species. The second major concern we had to address was that of safety. The first way we addressed safety was by making the bottom of the chair legs flat. This way, there was no chance the chair would tip over and fall if somebody were to lean too far forward or back. The second way we addressed this was by adding a latch that makes it so that the chair doesn't accidentally fold when it's not supposed to. For example, like if somebody's sitting on it and leans back, the back won't fold down into table mode. The final piece we had to address 
for safety was by rounding off all the edges so that if somebody were to fall onto the chair, they wouldn't get severely injured. The final concern we had to address was that of economics. In order to address economical concern, we did a couple things. First off, the pine wood helped here too because of how readily available it is. It's cheaper than many other kinds of woods. The second way we addressed economics was by trying to make as many of the pieces identical to other pieces as possible. That way, it would be far easier to mass produce, which translates into lower costs. Thanks, that's all from me, and now I'm going to send you over to Tazrian to address some final topics. Now, this furniture can be further enhanced by using mahogany wood as a material instead of pine for a deluxe chair and table. Mahogany is very attractive as well as very durable. Armrests on either side of the chair could also be attached for a more comfortable experience. Having said that, the latches could be 5 cm longer for more relaxed chair. And that brings us to the end of our group's presentation of a foldable furniture that would facilitate many of us in need now and in the future. Thank you.